Keep a consistent tempo on your rounds. Between us, we lay eyes on every client every 30 minutes. Medication schedule, bathing, turning meals, all on you. I don't remind you, you remind me. Yes, ma'am. Don't call me that. And that was Emmy-nominated actress Cynthia Geary. She's starting in the new Pure Flix film called Going Home. Thank you, Cynthia. Thanks for joining us today. Sure. Thanks for having me. And before we go in depth about this great opportunity that you've had to do this new series, um, let's talk a little bit about your background. I know a lot of people perhaps know you from Northern Exposure. How was that? <laughs> Um, yes, um, Northern Exposure was one of my very first jobs in the business. I, um, I booked Northern Exposure my first pilot season when I was living in LA and was immediately moved to the Pacific Northwest just outside of Seattle. And, um, and the rest is history. We started shooting the show and um, it actually became a hit. Uh, we didn't know it was a hit, or at least I didn't know it was a hit because we were um, up here in um, kind of outside of Hollywood shooting. And and it was, I remember getting a call um, from one of our production assistants at like five o'clock in the morning one day. And, and she was like, Cynthia, you've been nominated for an Emmy. And I was like, what? I didn't even know I was up for the an Emmy, and you know it, it's it the it was just such an amazing experience, and and of course you know I I loved every minute of it. And I I know that you you know you decided to kind of move away from the whole Hollywood limelight and kind of live more of a private life, raise your kids, and everything like that. Was that a struggle, like, to make that decision and kind of move away from that for a minute? Well, I, um, I was, my family has always been my first priority. My parents made that, it was theirs. We have, I'm the youngest of four kids, and uh, we had breakfast together every morning. My mother made a hot breakfast. We all sat down to the table. We ate dinner together. And that was just kind of instilled in me that that family comes first. And um, I, when I decided that I wanted to have children, this is where I live. I'm literally looking out at a beautiful lake right now. I live on a lake, and I just thought it was such a a wonderful place to have children and um, raise children. I it wasn't a hard decision. I had made really great lifelong friends here shooting Northern Exposure that are, are not associated with the film industry. And I, I just really felt like I put down roots here. And it wasn't that I didn't want to continue acting and I, I did and I have, I do theater here and I, I, I you know, participate in, in TV and film projects whenever someone asked me, but if you would have told me then that, oh, it, your career is really going to change and, and you're not going to work for years, you know, I, I, I don't know. I don't know that I really thought about that, but it was the right decision for me. Excellent. And of course, <laughs> that experience and many more brought you to this point, going home, this amazing story that follows a group of nurses that help, you know, patients and their families transition from this life into their forever home. And of course, you had to take some time and study and learn about these, you know, how, how everything works, right? With these nurses in the a hospice. How was that for you? Oh, it was the most amazing experience. I, I have to say, I had no experience with hospice. Um, I am super fortunate. Both of my parents are still alive. They're in their 90s. And, um, but the show creator, uh, took me to the hospice that we based the show on, um, um, Hospice of Spokane, Washington. And I got to sit with the nurses and talk to them and meet them and just get a feel for the place. And I, I, I have to say the, the nurses that work in hospice, it is really a calling. I mean, they are the most fantastic people. And um, it really informed me and helped me 
with the role and, and understanding what they do. And they really see their job as, as helping people find a peaceful transition to whatever's next. And, 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 and every single person that comes into hospice is different. And, and sometimes it's about giving a family member what they need, or sometimes it's about letting go. And it's, it was just, an amazing experience. I mean, acting in the show is amazing. Getting to know the hospice and, and the environment they create, it really, I think the biggest thing I took away from that is that death isn't scary and it's really, it's a part of life. Yeah, that's right. Cause like a lot of people really don't want to even talk about, you know, what happens with death and everything. So I am so happy that you bring this to Pure Flix. And of course, thank you so much for joining us, Cynthia. We wish you the best. And this new uh, series will be streaming on Pure Flix starting on June 2nd. Every episode will be brought up to the streaming uh, platform every week. So they're releasing a new episode every week. Thank you so much, Cynthia. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having us. And, and I hope everyone will watch.